March is Women's History Month, and what better way to celebrate than by spotlighting trailblazing women like Dr. Kathy Sullivan. Sullivan made history as the first American woman to walk in space in 1984 during her tenure as a NASA astronaut. She then became the first woman to reach the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest known point in the ocean in 2020. Welcome to Dr. Sullivan. What can you not do? Amazing. Congratulations <laughs> on all your success. Oh, thank you very much, Mary. It's a pleasure to be with you. Tell us about how you became an astronaut. You know, I was always inspired from an early age by great explorers like the early astronauts and Jacques Cousteau. And I think that's what really set the spark in me. From there, I just kind of found my way forward until I eventually stumbled into the Earth sciences and did a lot of expeditions out at sea during my college and grad school years. So I was kind of properly tuned up, I think, when NASA opened the door in 1977 for the new class of shuttle astronauts and for the first time encouraged women and people of color to apply. It was just irresistible. See the planet with my own eyes from that vantage point. You got to try out for that one. So what was that like actually seeing the planet for the first time from that vantage point? It will completely take your breath away on the first glance, I promise you. And you'll never get tired of it. I think it's it's every astronaut's favorite pastime to squirrel away a few quiet moments and go up to the window and see what part of the world you're going over. Mm. Day and night and through the seasons, it's it's really quite stunning. Wow. What are, I mean, some of your favorite career highlights? I know seeing Earth must have been quite incredible, but uh, tell us about some others that um, you just can't, uh, that we, we want to hear them all, actually, <laughs> but if you could, yeah. Uh, you know, the other highlight I would put top of the list is being on the crew that took the Hubble Space Telescope to orbit. Uh, for one thing, that orbit was about twice as high as shuttles usually go, which even for us who had been in space before, was another interesting shift in the vantage point. But then to just be part of putting something so re revolutionary into operation like Hubble, and then to watch all that it's done over the past 30 years, that's just been grand. As we mentioned, you went to the deepest known point in the ocean. So what sparked your interest in the ocean here, in oceanography? Well, that actually was what I majored in college and grad school. So getting to do that in 2020 was sort of an old home week coming back to my roots. It was pure happenstance. It was thanks to an invitation from Victor Vescovo, who had built the submarine that can take people there. There's still only one. Uh, and invited me to come along. He thought it was time that a woman get to the Challenger Deep and a properly trained oceanographer. It, it was easy to say yes. <laughs> so what more do you think needs to be done to support women in STEM specifically careers? You know, I think parents and, and family members particularly can help just encourage them that whatever they're interested in, even if it's not something that's the stereotypical little girl interest, Help them pursue it. Let them explore it. Let them discover whether it's a fad or a hobby or maybe something that will drive their career and their lifetime. So not editing their dreams, but letting them run wild and helping them develop them is probably the single simplest thing. And, and be there for them when they start to get some pushback, because they will in their teen years or when they hit that hard course that makes them think, gosh, maybe I'm just not any good at this. I should change. You know, give them, encourage them to build the muscle and double down instead of bailing out. Yeah, it's such good advice. You know, I wonder what does um, Women's History Month mean to you, being a woman who made history? I'm sure it, it has a different meaning. Well, I think it probably has about the same meaning because I'm just part of that long ribbon of women who've done remarkable things, provided proof and evidence to the world of what women can do, their strength, their capability, their intelligence. I've been really blessed and fortunate to have a moment where my little life story came into the spotlight as well. And I hope that shines the same inspiration around me and behind me to those who are coming up younger than me and encourages them to just, you know, dream big, dare and back that up with hard work. Well, such a pleasure to talk to you.